Daddy's hands were soft and kind when I was crying. Daddy's hands were hard as steel when I don't. What's going on, guys? Matt here, country song teacher. Happy Thursday, St. Patrick's Day, whatever day you're watching this. It's been a while since I did a throwback Thursday and a Woman Wednesday combined in one. Uh, someone requested the song. I love this song. It has such a good, cool meaning, great song. Uh, I think it went to number one way back in the day. And uh, <clears throat> if you're like me, there's two combinations, uh, the two things you think of this song. First of all, my father um, on earth here, he's still alive, he's 60, he just turned 69, is an incredible man. If you could design a perfect father role model and stuff with the Lord, with showing his kids love and affection, a role model work ethic, it's my father. Unbelievable, always trying to be like him. And then obviously our heavenly father, Obviously, I could talk about that forever. So this is a, just a cool song there. It's gonna use a lot of different chords. G, C, E minor, D, B minor, A, and everything in between, right? Make sure you keep all that fifth fret. Daddy's hands, soft and kind when I was crying. My camera's going, so. Daddy's G, soft and C when I was G. Daddy's hands. Remember, I do that B minor. I just do an A minor, slid up, and play the bottom four. If you can do a bar chord, great. I just do it this way, play the bottom four. Daddy's hands. Then E minor, soft and hard as C when I turn on. Daddy's G were always gentle, but I see to understand. Hey, I keep the ring finger there, press the two middle strings. Strong bottom five. There was G, C, G, and E, and G. Let me play through that chorus there at normal speed. Daddy's hands soft and kind when I was crying. Daddy's hands were hard as steel when I don't wrong. Daddy's hands were always gentle, but I've come. The chords I used there were G, C, D. Again, you can play a regular D or the bottom two locked in third string. And E minor you can play by pressing the two middle strings or you can just do a regular E minor, which is fifth and fourth. The A chord, I keep that ring finger on the second string and press the two middle. Then B minor, you know, I do this way. Just A minor slid up. On that chorus, I remember daddy's hands folded silently in prayer. Reach, reach, E minor, yeah. I remember daddy's hands folded silently in prayer. Reaching out to hold me when I had a nightmare. He read, he read quite a story. Was itching the whole time I was playing. No. So again, start that G chord. Daddy's hands. People ask me all the time about strumming, and if you're new to my video, if you watch my videos a while, you know what I want to say. If you're new to my videos, strumming is about timing. I get about two to three messages every single day across all my videos that say, "Matt, that changed the game for me." When you talk about it's a rhythm and a timing, that changed everything. Daddy's. I remember daddy's hands. So when I say timing, just do down strums. Keep it simple. That's the beauty of acoustic guitar. You don't have to do all the fancy stuff. Keep it simple to get that timing down. I remember daddy's hands folded deep silently in prayer. E minor reaching out and see when I G and nightmare. Repeat it. You can read quite a story in the calluses and the lines years of work CG and left their mark behind repeat it I remember daddy's 
things Now they held my mama tight And patted my back When something wasn't right And the things that I've forgotten That I love about that man They see the energy The love in daddy's hands Daddy's hands Soft and kind when I was crying tips here, but I don't say this often enough. Make sure when you, when you're, when I say music is about timing and strumming is about a rhythm and timing, make sure you're not just trying to change the chord on the word. When I, well, for years and years, I struggled with this. I thought you would just, daddy's hands were soft and kind when I was crying. Dad. And for some reason, instead of just the flow of a song, you should be right having, having two tracks going on in your mind at all time. One is just, The flow, boom, boom, kind of like a metronome on a keyboard, or something, boom, 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 and that track is just steady that you get good enough. You know, that's why it doesn't matter what you do with your right hand, down ups, down ups, whatever. Whatever, you can palm mute, stops, down ups, all that stuff, as long as that. That Tommy's going. You know, this track, you're trying to sing that song with Melly. Daddy's hands, soft and kind when I was crying. Daddy's hands, hard as you. And again, it's going to be a challenge. If you if you struggle with that, type in Matt McCoy sing and play guitar. Matt McCoy sing and play guitar. I've done videos on that because people ask me that all the time. How do you sing and play guitar at the same time? It's definitely tough at first. But I got confidence. Y'all got it right. Check out the website, guys. Acoustic Selection. Not Acoustic Selection. Wrong channel. Country Song Teacher. I got two two websites. You can go to Acoustic Selection for praise and worship songs or Country Song Teacher, either one. But CountrySongTeacher.com. I got all my DVDs, songbooks, all that good stuff. Some of y'all scooped up already, so God bless you. Smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and please subscribe if you haven't. We're all right on the verge of 200,000 subscribers. I'll get it any day now, so God bless y'all. Thank you so much. I can't say thank you enough. Till next time. We'll do a little song, four chord songbook play along tomorrow. Every Friday, I randomly pick one of the songs from my four chord songbook play along. That's four, that's each of them have forty songs that just use G, C, E minor, and D. So those four chords you can play thousands of songs. That's what we do each Friday. So be sure to tune in. Have your notifications on. Love you guys. Let's go.